Hey there, drone fans. Today is another really exciting day here at the shop because the brand new Hover Air X1 Pro Max just arrived, and I can't wait to get inside this box and get it up in the air. Now, Hover is a company that's been building this type of selfie drone for quite some time. I've talked about their previous product on the channel a bunch, and I like it an awful lot. And the difference with most of the Hover Air products is they're built to be incredibly easy to fly. They'll capture some amazing footage, and you basically open it up, hit a button, and the drone will fly a predetermined pattern to capture some beautiful footage. Now, the Hover Air Pro Max is their latest version, and it includes a lot of advanced features that you won't find in other selfie drones. So let me get the box open, and we'll take a look at it. And in today's clip, I'm going to do the unboxing. I'll talk about the technology inside, and then I'll come back and do additional clips where I actually fly the drone, show you the different patterns that it can fly, talk a lot more about the technology, and also talk about the accessories that are available for this drone, because originally it was designed to be a selfie drone, which means it flies on its own. You can also control it from your phone, but Hover actually makes a set of controllers and a beacon you can use to improve the flight characteristics of the drone and actually use that controller with your phone to fly it like a regular drone. And I'll talk about that in a second clip. But for today, I just want to get inside the box and actually do the unboxing. So let me get a <laughs> let me get an opener here and we'll take a look inside the box and see what's in there. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, do I get excited whenever a new drone shows up because you never know what's going to happen. I'll get it outside and fly it and have a whole lot of fun with it. All right, so you can see, see I haven't opened this up yet. Let me pull the wrapper off it. Oh boy, this looks good. <laughs> Here we go. Now the Pro Max is uh, it's advanced in so many different ways. It's got a lot more features and functions than the original version. And I'll talk about that as I go through the unboxing. But let me get this sleeve off the box. <laughs> I'll put that right over there. Then there's the box. So we're inside. Now we'll open it up. I haven't done this before. So, oh, it's magnetic. That's pretty cool. So it's got a magnetic clasp on the front right there that you can see it closes up. So that's really nice. They've really spent a lot of time putting this packaging together. And there we go. <laughs> so inside the box is a case and a whole lot of other stuff. So let me pull all that stuff out, get it out of the way. We don't really need this, but I guess I'll leave it over here for now. So inside there is a case, and the drone's going to be inside the case. Now I have the combo here, which includes a couple of other accessories that I think you're going to want anyway. And I always talk about this. You can certainly find the drone on its own with a single battery, but I promise you, once you start flying this drone, you're going to be having so much fun that you're going to want to fly it longer, so you're going to find a couple of extra batteries, and then you're going to wonder, how do I charge those batteries? Well, you'll want a charging hub to be able to charge more than one battery at a time, so I'm sure all of that stuff's included here. So there's a nice wrapper on the top. Let me get that out of the way. It's a little zip right here that I can pull off. Okay, it's open. It's officially open. <laughs> And here's the case. It's a really nice small case. I mean, you could definitely put this in your suitcase. It won't take up much room. And you can take it with you on vacation to capture all kinds of incredible footage. You know what? Before I open this, let's see what else is included. All right, so what have we got here? Sounds interesting. Probably some propellers, maybe? I don't know. Maybe some tools? Nope, it's a cable. Okay, it's a charging cable, which is a USB-C to USB-C. Now, that's what you'll use to charge the drone. It's also what you'll use, I'm assuming, with the charging hub. And you can connect this to any external wall charger that you use today to charge other USB products. One end plugs into the charger, the other end of it plugs into the hub, or actually into the drone to charge the batteries. And you'll probably want to use a powerful charger, maybe a 65-watt PD to start. The drone will regulate how much energy is going into those batteries, so you want to make sure you have plenty of power to charge it quickly. All right, what else we got here? Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, there's a lot of stuff here. So you get some stickers, which is kind of cool, and you're getting a quick start guide and some safety guides as well. So make sure you read through these because even though the drone is incredibly easy to use and it's very intuitive, you always want to read through the manuals to make sure you get the best value out of the product. So what you've got in that package is a quick start guide, a disclaimer and safety instructions. That's important. Uh, you've got some information here about the X1 Pro, some safety information, and a warranty card as well. So again, read through all of these to make sure you're getting the best value out of the product and that you're using it correctly. And then there's a bunch of stickers here that you can stick onto the drone to actually customize it. I think that's really nice that they take the time to put that together. And what else have we got? As a drone pilot, you've got some responsibility, so it's important you understand what the rules are because even though this seems like a really simple drone to fly, you still have to play by the FAA rules, which means 
You can't fly over people necessarily. You can't fly it further than you can keep it in your visual line of sight. You can't fly near airports or other protected areas. Just be smart about how you fly the drone. You won't get in a whole lot of trouble that way. All right, so let me set that aside. What do we got in here? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, so inside here, okay, is a welcome guide. Let's see. A sample hem frame. Oh, it's, it's a piece of the frame. Now, one thing that's unique about this one is they designed a special material that protects the propellers, and the frame looks like it's really flimsy, but it's not. And they've put a sample in here that you can actually try to tear open. You're not gonna be able to break that. So that's kind of cool. They're very proud of that material. And there's a bag. So the bag is nice for holding the drone. If you don't wanna bring the whole case along, slide the drone inside this bag, and you can take this with you. Now you might be wondering, gee, that bag looks awful small. How big is the drone? Well, here we go. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. The Hover Air Pro Max, right there. The X1 Pro Max. What a beautiful drone. Boy, I'm gonna flip that over. Just set that right there. Let me lay it down so I don't damage the drone. Oh man, I wanna play with that in a second. All right, so additionally, inside there is, looks like some desiccant. Make sure you get rid of the desiccant. Don't keep that around. That's to draw the moisture out of the package so it doesn't have issues during shipping, but get rid of that desiccant right away. Okay, so inside here, we have the charging hub, which I'll lift out. It'll hold two batteries. It has a USB-C connection on the end. The batteries basically drop in like this. Then you can charge two batteries in the hub, which again is a great way to go because you've got one battery in the unit, you've got one battery with the hub, which is a total of two batteries. I can do the math on that. But popping both batteries in the hub does a couple of things for you. Number one, it charges both of them simultaneously. So it'll charge one, then charge the other one. But it also keeps the drone out of the battery. Now you can certainly charge the battery in the drone, there's a USB-C connection on the side, but I always worry about that because the battery's gonna get a little warm when you're charging it. I'm never comfortable having that additional heat near the electronics inside the drone. I always like to charge it outside the drone, and that's what this allows you to do. So that's a nice little great addition there. Hey, and they include a charger, look at that. Most drones on the market today don't include a charger, so it's really nice that Hover's included this, this heavy-duty charger. So plug this into the wall, use the USB-C cable, plug it in here, plug it into the charging hub, and charge both batteries at the same time. Boy, is that a nice touch. I really appreciate that. In addition to that, there's another guide in here that talks about how to use it and how to charge it. So again, read through these guides to make sure you get the best value out of the product and you're using it safely. But boy, what a nice case this is to hold the drone. All right, so let me set that aside. And we've got the charging hub, and here's the drone. Again, I have to hand it to Hover. They were the first company that came out with a folding drone like this that actually folds up to about the size of a paperback book. Now, some basic specifications on this. It's dramatically upgraded from the original Hover Air. It'll record 4K footage at up to 120 frames per second. It's got a one over 1.3 inch sensor on the front and it's got a very advanced imaging package inside here. It'll also record 8K footage up to 30 frames per second. So if you want a drone to fly and capture some incredibly good footage, this could be the answer. But the beauty of this particular drone is the fact that it's a selfie drone. And what I mean by that is, in about 10 seconds, you can power it up, pick the mode you want it to fly, have it lift off your hand, take off, capture that footage, come back and land right where it took off. So it's perfect for a vacation where you're out there with your wife or your kids or your family and you want to capture some great footage of the landscape behind you, but you don't want to be fiddling around with a remote controller and getting a drone up in the air and trying to get the perfect shot. This one's smart enough to focus on you as the center of the attention, fly away, capture that footage, and then deliver that footage easily to be able to share it immediately on your social media channels. Now, the unit uses Wi-Fi to connect to your phone, so it's not gonna fly 1,000 kilometers away or 15,000 kilometers away, but it's really not designed to fly like a regular drone. It's really designed as a selfie drone, and that's the advantage of it over a regular drone. Now, I fly a ton of different drones. I like them, they're built for certain purposes. I can fly them quite a far distance away, capture some footage with a remote controller, but that's not what I want on vacation because I don't wanna deal with the hassle of powering up the controller, powering up the drone, launching the drone, trying to get the right angle on the shot. This one is incredibly simple. You basically open up the cage, oh boy, like that, power it up, 
And then there's an LCD screen right there that'll tell you what modes you're currently in. And by the way, through the application, you can change what modes are available on the drone. So you can change the order of them, you can change which ones are available, and you can step through those different options of which flight pattern you'd like to fly, put it in your hand, face it towards you, the camera will lock on you, take off and fly that pattern automatically, again, and come back and land in your hand. Pretty incredible stuff. You're going to get about 15 minutes out of each of the batteries. Uh, that's not a long amount of time, but again, if it's a selfie drone, you can charge the batteries while you're heading to your next location and put it back up in the air. What I like so much, again, about this is the size of it. I mean, it is incredibly small. And actually, the brains of the operation, the drone itself, is just this section right here. Now, think about that. It's about the size of a Milky Way bar, which, again, I think is incredible that they can pack all that technology inside this tiny little package where it's smart enough to focus on me, stabilize the footage, fly a predetermined flight pattern, come back and find my hand and land in my hand is pretty amazing. Now, one thing they did improve on the back of this unit is it's got rear crash protection. It's got both an optical and an infrared crash protection on the back. And that makes sense because if the drone's pulling away from you to capture that shot, you wanna make sure it's not gonna back into a tree or a building and that crash avoidance in the back is gonna stop it. And they've enhanced it because it's got a visual which is a single focused uh, image that it's gonna look for something solid, as well as an infrared sensor, which is gonna bounce infrared signals off of any hard object behind it and stop the drone from crashing into it, which is really nice. And on the bottom, you've got another visual sensor and two IR sensors there, and that'll help position it over your hand. As it takes off, it knows where it took off and it knows where to come back and land, which is really cool. And then the cage material, is really interesting. So fully enclosed, so you're not gonna have any issues with you know dangerous around kids or around anybody else, but it's flexible, but incredibly durable. They've done an excellent job with this, really amazing. And the battery pops out off the drone like this, you just pull it out, pop it in the uh, charger, charge it up, put it back in the drone. And again, the nice part about this uh, is, I, first of all, I can't wait to get it outside and start flying it, but the nice part about this is it's incredibly simple. Anybody can use this drone to get it up in the air, start recording some amazing footage, have it come back and land in your hand, and then immediately post that to your social media channels. And I think this category of selfie drones has really been exploding over the last couple of years. A lot of companies are jumping into this. Very few of those companies are doing as good a job of creating a selfie drone and capturing some amazing footage as the folks over at Hover. They've really kind of captured this market space and are doing development and releases that are far ahead of most of the other selfie drones on the market. And the fact that this unit can record 8K footage. It's got two axis image stabilization as well as electronic image stabilization built in, which means even if the drone's getting buffeted a little bit with the wind, between the two axis gimbal and the EIS, it's gonna stabilize that footage and deliver some really incredibly crisp imaging. Now, following on this clip, I'm gonna spend some time flying the drone, showing you the different patterns it can fly. It actually has uh, a couple of patterns in there that are really, really interesting. So I wanna put it up and capture some footage with those patterns and show you what kind of footage it, it can actually capture and what it looks like. So make sure you stay tuned for those additional clips. But for today, I just wanted to do the unboxing and show you what was included in the combo package so you'll understand exactly what you get if you decide the new Hover Air X1 Pro Max is right for you. So thanks an awful lot for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying.